Colorado. Um, and I hope it's nice wherever you're at in the world. And I see that Mark has got our new website in the background here. And we're going to look at some other information that I have. And mainly, the whole goal here today is to let you bring up some topics that you'd like to talk about. And anything is fair, Graeme, has some relevance as it relates to economics, making the planet better, and making some money doing it, making a little money, making the planet better. So that means that don't really like to talk about things like sex trafficking, or, um, I guess, uh, I don't know, maybe gambling. I guess not very many topics because you could actually argue that some things about whether those topics could be relevant to discuss in some level. Um, so I'm going to start looking for anything you guys put in for questions and comments. Certainly will allow, if you want, for you to raise your hand and, and we'll unmute you and let you chat with us also. And also, uh, you Literally, even if you have some things you want to show us on the screen, we have the capability of doing that. I'm going to start with this topic. We're trying to decide what to use as our platform for all of our webinars. We've been using GoToWebinar for a long time. As a matter of fact, our anniversary, seventh anniversary of the EAT community was earlier this week on the 6th. Today is the 8th, so two days ago. And if you use GoToWebinar as our primary um, broadcasting source for that entire time. Now, we simulcast this right now and all the webinars we do to YouTube Live and to Facebook Live. Actually, so, sorry, the better way. Is to Facebook and to YouTube. So it's Facebook Live and YouTube. And so there are people watching in both those areas, as well as directly from this feed, which is going out through GoToWebinar. There are some really good things about GoToWebinar, and there are some things that are not so great. So um, we've used Zoom, we don't like it. A lot of reasons, not as much as we like go to webinar. Zoom is really a meeting format. It's not a um, webinar or podcast format. Um, we've used Kajabi's internal system. So probably most of you know that our website, when you're looking out on the screen here, is on um, is on Kajabi. That is what our platform is. We really like that platform for our web. And Mark, would you, would you just sort of scroll down as I'm talking on the website? And then also, um, maybe even at some point, once you're done, the, you know, click on those two um, options. And then also, um, show us some things that you and Lisa have been doing recently to our um, book consistent with colors and any number of things. So we're pretty proud of this new website. We had some really great comments about it, and uh, it's got some cool things in it. And even all of you have already signed up for the EAT team. Um, you should just, just go to the site sometime. And if nothing else, look at the blogs. So here, Mark, just stop there for a second. So these are blogs that we've written just in the last week, even. There's one from June 5th. There's one from May 31st, May 27th, that are all on our economics.org site, which is essentially where our blogs have been since 2011, right, Mark? Or from 2014, when did we first start publishing?
Right. Maybe pull up another tab and just show conomics.org for just a second, and then we can come back to this. Um, so I'm just going to check real quickly on questions and comments. Alicia, as always, has put some very cool comments in about any number of things here, which are always great. And the rest of you, be bold. Let your fingers do some typing. Put in some thoughts. So Mark is now, uh, I'm going to turn the questions up. When I put the questions up on my screen, I can't see um, what's on the screen. So here's, here's the, the economics.org site. Um, and Mark has put up some of the recent blogs. I'm going to actually move this, Mark, over to another screen. Better. And um, Mark, let's go back and see one of our blogs from very early on. So go and show them on the sidebar where you can actually find the, the history. I think it's up. I think you might have to go to the page itself. Yeah, and there you I think if you scroll down the sidebar, it's going to show, yeah, recent post. Uh, we may have taken it off. It used to be that we had the list there. Put in, put in a date, Mark. Go back up and in the, in the search. Um, yeah, there we go. Let's go all the way back. Wow, December 2010. Let's look at that blog. It looks like there's not much there. Did you notice that I did not say happy holidays, Bob? Um, I don't know if that article's actually there. Let's go with data one. I love it. Yeah, let's let's stay, Mark, let's stay on that one for a second. Obviously, really short. Although, does that show the whole blog, Mark, or is that just showing? There's comments there even. We're not seeing the whole blog. There we go. Yeah, we weren't seeing. I thought that was a little weird on the last one. We didn't even put images on way back then. Um, and, and this talks about hope. So Mark, pull up the Hope for the Hopeless website. Um, one of the things we're most proud of um, and I think it's just hope for the hopeless. Could be there's a link here too. Um, maybe even in this article. Is there a, a link in the article? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Um, hope for the hopeless is a project that one of our interns did. We had an intern here. We're very proud of our interns through the years. We've had over a hundred of them since 2011. We had our first um, first first intern in 2011, and since then we've had a hundred plus, and they all are required to do a project. And one of them came up with hope for the hopeless as a project. By the way, that is an aquaponic system here. This is on Nurse the Planet, which is another one of our sites. Um, that is in my backyard. Um, literally, uh, I have a greenhouse up above me in the way that I'm plant part, um, pointing here. And next to it, right next to it, are um, these half-cut 55-gallon drums. And there are six more of them behind us in this picture. You can see the edges of them just over the corner of the picture there. So there are 12 of them. And right in the middle, down below, um, is, um, is a, about a 300-gallon water um, tank, actually a stock tank that let animals drink from. Um, and uh, this, by the way, if you were seeing out my wind, which is right in front of me, over this direction, is our, what we call our 
front lawn area, and those are alpacas. I think most of you know that we raise alpacas, and those are when they're, when they're out grazing in our front yard. And we do that, we have grazing. And that's a temporary fence that you see there that for a lot of different kinds of livestock, uh, stay, stay on this one too, Mark, um, would, would be um, electrified they would challenge it. So goats would challenge it, sheep would challenge it, um, certainly hogs or cattle would. You couldn't even keep cattle inside that fence. Um, they would knock that over even if it was completely electrified. But alpacas, once they've gotten shocked once, they won't touch it again. And so you don't even have to charge it and they'll keep animals in. We have over 2,000 feet of and if in that picture, just straight below the shadows, that's a grove of trees that we have that's right out 100 yards, less than that, 75 yards from where I'm sitting. Um, and, and then continuing to the east there is a, a road that is a loop that goes around our property. And Mark could actually pull up a Google Earth of our property just by just our Google map even show that you can see what I'm talking about but we keep pieces of that fencing um, that are 100 to 150 feet long strategic locations because then we can just literally spread it out and it takes 10 minutes and we'll have an area in which um, our animals can go graze. Mark's pulling up he's got we're seeing we're seeing that Bangladesh right now but it's kind of cool um, and he's going to pull up, up, put in Mountain Sky Ranch. I think we'll probably get in there. If not, just I'll, I'll give you our address. You know, there's actually, that's the one in Montana. So that's not, that's, I knew it would go to there. Yeah, Colorado. It may not. There we go. Yeah, Mountain Sky. Uh, Mountain Sky Alpacas is showing it. That's actually, yeah. Uh, blue sky that that's this near us interestingly the mountain sky alpacas will show so once you get it go to the satellite view yeah just get that and then go to the satellite now that's actually showing you are seeing the website for it And so, uh, let's stay back up, Mark, that, that, that picture. Let's go back a couple pictures ago. What is that in that, in that, what is that? What are they eating, Mark? This isn't one we did many years ago. That is fodder. So that is um, a common, that is probably barley seed that is grown in a hydroponic system for seven to nine days and it comes out in a large tray and gets fed to the animals by the way these are this is this picture's got to be in uh, well it shows there that uh, 2016 is when the image was that's on the bottom there um but this has got to be in the fairly early summer because these animals haven't aren't very far from being shorn we were supposed to have shorn this monday we've had the wettest May and June on record in our part of the world. And uh, so we were supposed to shear the other day. We now gonna, we're now we now gonna shear next Thursday because it was too wet to shear. Um, so show, show a few more of these slides. It's been a while since we've shown this. Uh, that barn, by the way, is above the greenhouse that I was showing in the aquaponic system. There, there, there are, that's real close to that barn. It's just down below where that picture is. That's my wife, Deb, somebody else with her. Um, and then that's the pine forest that's up above our, uh, our, our barns and our greenhouse and other things that, again, less than 100 yards from where I'm sitting. See, what, I don't even remember. Why, I don't know what other pictures are here. Just click on here. Wow, that's, that is all, again, 016. That's our pond, one of our 22 ponds, and it's a little farther from me. That's about a 
quarter mile away. Um, and we now keep it really well mowed right down almost to the water's edge, that particular location. And uh, that tree, wow, if you saw that tree that's in the background there today, it's 20 feet taller than that. Um, and uh, we still have that boat that we take out in the pond. That's actually a guy in the boat with the red hair, uh, a guy that we used to, we interviewed at one point. I am struggling with his name right now. The Mark will remember. Keep going with this. Who's that? Uh, he was an in, he was an intern here, but that wasn't his name. That's a brand new baby alpaca. There, I mean, literally maybe born the same day. This photo, um, and that's um, what we feed them grain in. That's a mom um, or or a dad. I think it's a mom. There's a name tag you can see on her collar there, right there. <laughs> there she is a little bit more up close and personal. And those are things in the background, maybe the next, oh yeah, is that, oh yeah, she's just up and close of her. Those are um, where our males live now. So that I'm saying her, that's probably a female, um, excuse me, a male, and probably an older boy. And quite honestly, that time, and this one's actually 2018, I see for the image capture. Um, and it says December, I doubt that was in December, although my, everything's kind of brown. Um, it is, but those dates are not always exact. Those are pallet buildings. We give away plans for those. We're pretty proud of those buildings and they can be built for about $160 total cost in less than four hours. And all you need is a saw and hammer. You can get pallets for free, typically. They are eight by eight and um, about an eight feet tall in the front and six feet in the back and we've had those particular ones here for about 15 years almost um, so it's kind of a cool picture <laughs> all right well I, I know who that animal is that is our top female of all time um, her name was bright stars and she's dead now, but she and she died at old age. She was about 20. And she produced more, uh, more really, really high quality offspring. And look at that picture. That's from 2015, May. And that's probably right. That's before shearing. She's got a lot of fleece on her there, a lot of coat. And that's probably accurate that that was um, right before we sheared. So let's go to the next one. Just a little different view of those males. Again, different. <laughs> yeah, that was, you know what? That probably is in the winter, maybe even in December. And wow, we have done a lot since then in terms of. Uh, Proving pasture quality. Um, that's looking like weeds <laughs> pretty much all over. I got to do some videos of our grass right now because everything in that pasture, everything you can see, the road I was describing, and, and you know, it is probably accurate. December, that's ice down on the water. That's a pond right there. That's another pond right there. Mark, oh yeah, Mark, I'm using my cursor and you're not seeing it. Um, Mark, you were, you had your cursor. Show, put your cursor on those ponds. They're down, yeah, there. That's a pond. It's another one. That white ice, um, that's a pond right there. The road is right past those. Just, yeah, I mean, like 10 feet on the other side there that I was talking about. Yeah, you're even beyond it right there. Right there, that's willows. That's, that are growing along the east side. So that's looking east. This photo is looking east. I've given a story about those panels way more in the pack. Panels being fence sections that are right behind us there. Um, 
just telling you something you ought to be thinking about if you're a farmer, or shoot, if you're doing anything in life. I, yeah, notice that they are, there are um, a couple different kinds there. Um, but the, that one that Mark's got the cursor on right there, that big one, that's six feet tall, um, eight feet probably, maybe even 10 feet long going, you know, this direction, um, you know, actually, uh, both ways and we put a uh, mesh um, fencing on the back of it that's actually rubberized um, and that panel and we have over a hundred of them so a hundred panels like that that can be rotated because the end of it back where the alpaca's head is is covering up has got um, um, extensions that how it to be attached to another one. Uh, this would be the end of it, and, and there's one right in the middle because, no, there's two of them. You can see up high. Um, yeah, right up at the top, Mark, above, above that panel to your, yeah, right there. That is to hook on to another panel. Um, and at the bottom, there'd be one just like that. And that panel that's next to it, which is much, much shorter, is actually attached to it at the bottom. There's a universal, Versal way that which panels become attached to each other. Actually, there's a, there's another pin right in the middle that that panel is attached to, one at the bottom, one at the top. So anyway, where did that big panel come from? And we've got a hundred of those. When I lived at the place we were at prior to being here, which was in about an hour and twenty minute drive away, south side of Denver, we used to drive. I would drive by this old farm or location um, every day and see these hundred panels just rusting away, sitting up next to an old bar. Finally, I got the courage up to go in one day and introduce myself to whoever it was that owned this place. I didn't know who it was. I'd never been there before. And I just was a nice guy. I walked up and said hi and asked him about himself and about his farm. And he said it was just kind of a hobby farm and he really didn't do anything. He had horses there previously. And at that time, when I talked to him, he didn't have any animals there. And I said, what did, they, what did you use those panels there for? Which, by the way, they didn't have that, that mesh um, fencing on it. We put that on and they were, like I said, rusted, but they were in decent condition. We, uh, sand, them and then um, repainted all of them but anyway he said i don't know where they came from they were here when i bought this place <laughs> and i said well do you use them no they're just taking up space i said well how much would you sell them for sell them i'll give them to you shoot i'll pay you to take them and i said no <laughs> you're not going to pay me i, I want to make sure i give you something for them I have an absolute use for I'm moving to another. I we had bought our place up here where we live now. Bought it was about a year before we moved into it, or seven or eight months. And I ended up going over with a trailer, picking up all these panels. A hundred panels. Those panels today, if you bought them used, not new, bought them used, would cost seventy-five dollars each. So that means that I got $7,500 worth of panels for nothing. Just because I was, I got, I got rid of my scare, my, my fear, and I went in and talked to this farmer. But those other panels there are made locally, the small ones, they're not nearly as nice. And those cost today um, over $100 each. And they're not nearly the panels that these big ones are. So anyway, just something you ought to think about. Mark, are there any questions? I'm going to look real quick and see if there's anything. Other than... Is it? Okay. Why don't you go? Why don't you see if you can put in hope for the hopeless? Just put it in. You'll find it. Um, oh, remember, we were going to look at the map. So go to the map and, and blow it up. Just, just bold it. Yeah, it'll. If you just go and expand it, 
and switch it to Adelaide. I'm going to look up at the question page while you're doing that. Come on, you guys are being shy, except for Alicia. She's put all kinds of things in there. So you are doing rotational grazing. Yes, we do rotational grazing. Very strongly. Uh, any thoughts about the power of collaborative learning? Absolutely. I, I think collaborative learning is huge. We should do a lot more of it. Love to get somebody to speak on it at some point. So Alicia, maybe one of the, the uh, references that she'll give us will have a, an author's name that we can contact and uh, get a hold of. You ended up back in wherever. <laughs> Mark, all you needed to do was click, just no, go over to the right and hit on that plus, okay? Uh, don't click on that, you're gonna get back to those pictures. Yeah, make that bigger. You're gonna need to move it over. That in Blue Sky Ranch, by the way, is brand new. It didn't used to exist. I want to, after we're done here, I want to look at that because I'm going to go visit them. Just keep, keep expanding. So notice it shows doorman and so, so and nurse the planet on the map. Uh, now go to satellite view, which is right down there on your left, Mark, and get rid of that. Um, click the X up there by where you searched after you go to satellite. Yep, there you go. There we go. And so um, this is a great, this, and this, these are, so this image is from, doesn't say it just says 2023, but that is the, taken probably, yeah, that, that was taken this winter, probably it looks, well, it's, it's greening up. Well, let me describe some things in that photo for you. Um, that green roof there is our house, and that's a deck out in front of it, and that's a picnic table that's on the deck. Um, and then the front door is right below where that peak is, right? Yep, right there. That roof is fairly steep, and you can't see it. That's yeah. And then I'm sitting right to the no, oh, down, right down below, right, no, yeah, but in, inside, I'm not outside, Mark, <laughs> right, right next to the window, right where you're, right there, I'm sitting a little bit farther in, that would be right on the wall, right about there, that's where I'm with the window right in front of me. Um, when we moved here, the two pine trees, the four pine trees, those are pine trees right outside, um, weren't here, we planted those. Um, actually, I think 2010, so this is 2013. They're 40 feet tall now, look gorgeous. I think of it, Mark, because I'm curious. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I actually think, so we park our vehicles to where you see them there. Um, those are um, four trucks. Actually, that's a car. So, and that is our, my dog truck, which um, I wonder if you can get, can you go to Street View? Does it come up onto our county road? Does it show whether you can see Street View on that road right there? Probably not. I don't think they can actually go there. They would, no, it, it wouldn't because that's our, that's our private road, so it wouldn't be Street View. Um, Well, we're going to zoom out here in just a minute. Uh, this is great to be at this level. And, and Alicia is asking about, you know, are we regenerative grazing and so on? Yeah, are, but I'm going to point out a bunch of things here that are regenerative. And, you know, this picture had to be in, not in the dead of winter because those, the trees right down there all have leaves on them. So I don't know what exact time of the year this was, but um, anyway. Uh, so I pointed out our house. You see the little deck in front of it there. That what looks like, no, the front there, yeah. What looks like grass that's right next to it. Mark's got the cursor on it. If you expand that a little bit, Mark. 
that is artificial grass. So that takes no water, all right? That is, I highly recommend if you can get it. It's expensive, but we got it for free. And this is another thing, you should always look for opportunities. Um, that, that, and we got literally so much of that, you wouldn't even believe how much of it we got. Um, and we got it from a, a soccer location where they were tearing out the old artificial grass and putting in new artificial grass. So now look in the backyard of the house. So put your cursor just there. Yep, that's the backyard. That's all artificial grass all around there. That little, it's a U shape. And in the middle is a greenhouse. So it looks like you're looking right down on something. And you are, because that's just corrugated plastic. Remember where we were looking at the aquaponic systems? Keep going to the left, Mark, and below that tree. Um, with the cursor, don't you don't need to move the screen? But now up, now up, above, straight up, and now left. There, that's those six aquaponic tanks that I showed you in the other picture, um, and that was that other picture taken at least eight or ten years before this, and so that tree was just a baby at the time. Um, alpacas live to the right of that, and those are two, um, yep, those are two pallet buildings. One of them's got a metal roof, and the other one's got a OSB roof, so one's a little nicer. And, um, but they live in a pasture there, and then they go out into our bigger pastures to graze. Um, to the left is our half acre garden. So and that's, by the way, this is a very steep hillside, if you looked at this. Um, and you can see the garden. This, but it's interesting what time of the year it was because it had to be early spring because it doesn't look like there's any plants there yet, or it was late fall after it was harvested. Um, Deb would know if she looked at it. She'd actually like to see how cool that look that look was, um, because she's just in the process right now of, of doing a lot of spring planting. Um, the, the building is straight up to the left of that is a uh, is 12 feet wide, 72 feet long, and that is a converted mobile home. And it, we call it our mobile barn, although it's not moved at all since 2006 when we put it in there. Um, and then there are a number of these pallet buildings. So if you scroll even more, you're going to see a whole bunch more. We have 37 of them in total across the farm. And now you're starting to see a bunch more of them. And, and then you can see the, the, we call it a paddock that females live in. There's got to be, you're going to see uh, from above at least some alpacas here in a minute. They've got to be some out in the area where they're grazing or so on. But you're going to clearly see where they spend most of their day because it's been heavily grazed. And then that on the other side there to the north um, is an area where we, where we have cattle and, and we put a lot fewer in. So that's why I think this is in the spring. This picture's got to be taken in the spring. Oh, Mark, go down to that parking lot again where the vehicles were because I can tell even a little more. So it's to the right. There. Um, that oval kind of thing is our propane tank. The white truck that's by it is our, um, is what we call our um, mobile shop. It's what's called the box truck. Um, that's another truck parked out on the, to the right there. Um, that's a compost spreader. So take your cursor up to the right-hand corner because we spread oh, there, right there, that to your right of that. That's a compost spreader there that is pulled by a tractor. Next to that truck is an 8-in Ford tractor. Not that one. That's a trailer. But right next to the down below, that's, that's a, right there. Um, that's a four. That's a, a um, excuse me, a... Uh, A Ford tractor, 
from the 1940s called an ADN. Um, now look below, keep going, scroll to the right, Mark. We store our comp in large, that's what you see up above the road there. And we spread it and we sell it. That's alpaca manure and, and hay primarily, a little bit of soil in with it. And that's what we get when we clean up after the act. So let's pull away a little so make it a little, a little smaller, Mark, not a lot. Okay, our gate, which was closed that day, stop, stop this, um, is that what's going across the road right up there. You can see it. Look up above, Mark. Go up, up on the road, right on the road. That's our gate coming into our property. Now, Mark, you're, <laughs> you're, you don't need to go higher, and now you're, now you're missing it. That's the, the gate is above your cursor. Bring your cur cur cursor up right there. All right, that's a gate. So that, that closes it off when we have alpacas out. Um, then you can see fencing that's around where um, you, I was mentioning. A grove of trees where you saw those alpacas earlier is over to your left. Now scroll away a little more. I want to show a little bit of version. And go down so we see you start to see some ponds. All right, those ponds, starting there, yeah, whoa, don't stop, now you've gone too far, Mark, uh, are ones that we built. We're not here when we were here. There's a long story there. I figured out we actually had water in a stream. We're going to go farther downstream here in a little bit, and you'll see the stream. And I put these farm these ponds in because we have water rights here. And I was able to take that water. We grow koi in the top three, that smallest one on the top there. Uh, by the way, the water comes under the road just below where Mark says, where it says museums. So just go down a little bit, scroll, just go upward just a little bit. By the way, those ponds are not very big. They're um, a large swimming pool size. And that grass we leave over the winter cut in, in the way that is um, because that's where thicker there and we, we train dogs in that area. Um, and we train them all over, but we leave the cover there so the dogs can go into it. Keep going, Mark. Just keep scrolling down. Our biggest ponds are the next ones here. That is one. The biggest one is right here. Stop right there. There's an island there that you can see. That is, Mark could bring the cursor down. Um, it looks no, a little farther there, there's the island. That's duckweed growing all over that we actually have cultured to just the very bright green that's above that bridge that goes over to the island. And you've heard me do a number of talks about duckweed, why I believe that duckweed is something that we all ought to be thinking about um, growing if we can. So, Go out a little more, Mark. This is too tight to this. I want to show everything. Stop right there. Um, that um, white structure is another greenhouse that is, is on the property. And next to it is a shipping container, which is used for office and storage. Then that's our You've heard me talk about before. You're getting too close again, Mark. Um, that's just up above it. And every year, at the end of a year, we reseed areas that we have mined from the year before 
So below that greenhouse and down to where you see County Road 31 there, all of that area was previously mined and it's now been reclaimed and reseeded. And up to the left, bottom left, right below, above the area where it says layers, that's an area that was reseeded. And when this photo was taken, right, maybe the year before, right to the left of where the cursor is there. And it's now all grown back to where it looks just like all the rest of the property. I'm looking at the way that grass was cut in this picture. Go back down to the, um, the area by the creek. Uh, you're going the wrong way, but that the other direction. No, no, just keep scrolling to your to the, the left to see where all the grass looks like checkerboard there and the ponds. I want to, I want to show uh, you're going the wrong way. Go the other way. Other way, Mark. That that's up the mountainside, by the way, from us. That ponds are the other direction. You're going the right way now. There's the island that you see. Okay, now keep now go, keep going down. Let's look a little further down. That's our newest pond. Stop right there. That we've put in. Um, we call that the lower pond now. And then keep scrolling down. Because now you'll start to see the stream. It's the first place we really let it flow coming out the 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 dam on that pond, stop right there, Mark. Uh, and that pond's pretty large. That's a couple acres. But now you can see the screen. This, excuse me, the stream. Um, Mark takes his cursor to the left, follows there. That's a stream flowing to the right of the road. That road actually doesn't go through. It, way back in time, it did, but it's now a private property, and the road doesn't actually continue through. Um, so the stream is right, just barely to the right. Yep, there we go. And it turns all around, and there's free-flowing water there. <coughs> it wasn't when we bought the place 18 years ago. It was dry. And all our farming practices changed to where we made it to where it now flows. Um, go back up just a little bit. I want to just show something that's kind of interesting. Just up, upwards. Right there. Stop there. Right there next to that pond, take your cursor to the left, Mark. So we put all those points on that pond. There's one right there um, to allow that to be a place that we could do retrieving over. But now bring this, the cursor down and to the left and along the edge of the pond on that, that side. Yep. And right to you, it looks like a little rectangular area, right down to the left of the cursor. That is a big piece of artificial grass because we use that as a part of our pasture golf course. That's actually one of our greens. And if you scroll down more, you, you can see that it's got a big white line going through it. You see that? Go, you can get a little closer, Mark. Just blow it up just a little bit more. That's because that was part of the soccer field. And that's a, that was, on the line. Now, scroll out a little bit again, or, or zoom out, and now go up and to the left. And there's another, you're gonna see another one of these, about nine of these, enough now, a little farther up still. That's, a, that's actually just a big piece of grass there. Keep going, a little more, tiny bit more. It's right below, the, the search thing on search Google Maps. Oh, there, now it's lower, stop. Right next to the Y on South County Road 31, over to the left, keep going, keep going. Right, a bit now down with your cursor, tiny bit. Is it not, no, don't, you don't need to blow it up. 
you're, you're now you're too far down. I, I'm literally right next to the R and the Y on South County Road 31. Is a piece of artificial, no, that's a rock. But down that's green, Mark, it's right next to it. Look at next to the Y, there we go. Look over to your, now you're, you're almost there. It's, it's square, it's, right? Your, your cursor's just a little, no, right there, right there. Yes, that is a golf green area. So you hit from that down to that one that was down there by the pond, and that's what we call a par three. That's one shot. It's about 150 yards. All right, now scroll out again, and we're going to show you where that stream goes all the way down to a river. I'm going to look at questions. So scroll back, or excuse me, zoom back out. Yeah, keep going down. You're going to keep following that screen. So we're going downhill here, following the stream. And there's going to be three more ponds. There's one right there. See the two ponds? One of them's got, those were two ponds. Don't, you don't need to zoom. There we go, two of them right there. And go further because there's going to be two more. Keep going down. There we go. There's one. And then there's a second one right below it. Those are two ponds. One up above it has got a lot of, it's, 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 it's actually, yeah, that dam is kind of broken down. But keep going. Now you're going to start to see it's just stream from here on down. Keep going. And I'd say zoom out just a little bit more. Just keep following the stream. There you go. That's good enough. That road, keep going. There's going to be no more ponds before you get to a big river. That road, is not, that road yeah, you're still the stream. Now it crossed the road. It went under the road. There's really not a river there. Shows that being a road, but it's not really. Stream goes right there. Yeah, keep going. There is a little bridge, yeah. And notice now, you can tell that's cliffs now. Right there where his cursor is, that's a 100 foot high cliff going down to the stream. Now keep going. So, what was your question, Mark? It started from our property up there when we were by the pond. I keep going. You're almost to the end of it. Keep going. All right. Right there, you see a road going off of it. That's going up to an old mine site. And the, the stream's going to the left where there's another cliff right there. And now um, zoom out again, in again because I'm going to show you another pond it's right at the top of the picture see that pond mark there yeah and you know i scroll that yeah that's a pond and on the right side of it up above on the right of the no no that's a cliff by the way and but there's cliffs all around it and at the edge of that pond there's a little whitish thing that's where the stream comes into it Right up at the top of that, yeah, right there. That's a waterfall. That, from the top down to that, is about 50 feet in elevation, and it is a waterfall. So now the stream keeps going. Scroll back or zoom back out. We're almost down to the end of it. And then we'll go back up, and I'll show you the top of it, Mark. So keep going. Another pond right down there, a little one. Another cliff as the pond, as the stream turns, yep. Yep, that's the big river that it goes into. See that? Like really a lot larger river. And you missed it. The, the, it turned right there. It did a 90-degree turn. 
you missed the turn. Go back up a little bit. There, that big shadow there, that's another cliff. It's the creek again. By the way, this creek is called Meadow Hollow Creek. Right, then it turns and does another 90 degree turn. And then right there, yep. Yeah, and now keep going straight down. A little bit to your right, because it does another turn here in a second. It's going to make one more turn. Right there. Now you see it going down. And you're going to see a house down here at the bottom. Just a second. A little further. No, you're not there yet. There. Right there. That is a house that somebody lives in right by that big river. So now just go down a little further, Mark. And you'll see the big river, the big the little Thompson, it's called. That's power lines. There's the little Thompson. So the creek is flowing in just past those power lines to your right. That's what we followed. So now I want, I want you to zoom way out. We're going to zoom quite a bit out and not move. I keep this. There you go. Keep going. No, I don't want you to move your cursor. I want you to zoom out. Now go back up because we're going to see back up to my farm as you zoom out. You're going to have to go up, up some. Pull, pull it back. Because remember, we're up from this. Yep, up, still more. Yeah, scroll a little, keep going. We're going to go out quite a ways here. There's Meadow Hollow. That's naming, that's the creek. Keep going. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Now, can you kind of see the creek, Mark? Follow it. Which occurs, not that one, that's the river. The creek is there, Meadow Hollow, over to the right. There. That's where that big 90 degree turn was in the cliff. Go up a little higher. A waterfall. I'll show you where the waterfall is. Go follow the creek with your cursor. Up, up. That's down. That's down. Up. Keep going. Waterfall right there. You went past it. Past it. Right down. A little bit, tiny little bit down. There. Right in there is the is waterfall. So now keep going. Scroll. We're going to scroll up because you're going to get to my farm here in a minute. You wanted to know where that creek started. We're going to show you. Keep going. All right. There's our quarry. There's Nurse the Planet. There's Doorband. You said all that. There's those ponds we started with. See that pond? You see where it says rare air drone services? See the R in rare air? Rare, it's up above, to your right, there. Rare air drone. See where the R is? See the pond? The R is right over a pond. That's where our, that's where Meadow Hollow Stream starts, in that pond. Because on the other side of that pond, it goes the other direction. And so now keep, now let's keep scrolling up, because I want to show you something that you've heard me talk about. You're going to see a huge in just a second. Keep going, keep going. There it is. There's the corner of it. You've heard me talk about that is Carter Lake. Well, that's a lot. You only have about a fourth of it. Keeps going way up, up the bat. Up. That's 350 feet deep, and it's a water supply for all around this region. They are now building a second dam to build another one. Over, stop there, Mark. Go to your left with the cursor. Don't move your picture. And I'll tell you when you're there. Keep going. Keep going. That's a ridge, right where you saw it, where you were there. Those are cliffs. Both right down there is another valley. And they're building another reservoir right where you're at. The dam go up in that, in that, yeah, a little further, a little further, a little further, right about where this, right there. The dam is going to be right there, up, up to your left. You're up at the top of the ridge. 
Okay, where your cursor was, go back up again that, to your right there. That right there is 600 feet higher than if you're your left. A little bit to your left, there. That's the bottom. You were there, right? With it. And also, if you go to your right and down to Carter Lake, from there, right there, that's the top of the ridge. Go down to Carter Lake. Keep going down there. That's 600 feet down. It's a, it's very steep. Okay. Now scroll out quite a bit more. I'm going to show you where we are from Denver. Stop. Stop. Now go. Stop there. Don't don't scroll out anymore. And go move the move back to the left. Staying to the left. No, the other way, Mark. Those are mountains. That's the Rocky Mountain. You need to go the other way. I should. I told you wrong direction. Those are all cities. That's Bertha. Okay, now down. Go straight down, and you'll be at Denver pretty quickly here. Still see us? The yellow spot that was near us. Keep going a little bit further. A little further. That's Denver right there. So see how I am to it. All right, now I'll just scroll back up again, and you'll see that the orange, the yellow or orangish circle. That was us, if you remember. It was right next to us. Right there. Okay, yeah, there's the lake, Carter Lake, right up above it. See it? Right up above that circle, right there. Yeah. And then now just go down, and you'll see Denver. So that's that's about an hour drive away from where we are. Down Denver, right there, where all those highways come together. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we are almost at the top of the hour. I'm gonna look for questions here. This was fun today. Would you guys, if you would, you guys haven't been saying anything in the audience, but put some ones if, in if you enjoyed this, if you enjoyed learning about this area and about what we do. Uh, have you done an environmental inventory of habitats on your farm? Yeah, Alicia, we've done a lot of that. A lot of it. Um, I mean, I could tell you, remember, we've had Kate Armstrong out here that did one of our courses on, on foraging. And she, I could tell you of a thousand different species of plants that we have and, and show you right where they're at and what they are, which ones of them are edible, which ones of them are eaten by deer and elk, and, and which ones are, are poisonous, and which ones are native, and which ones are... Any, you know, all kinds of things. So yes, we've done that. And everybody should be doing that. But I don't see any either ones. A one means that you enjoyed this. You learned a lot. That's by, by the way, that's my son right there on that picture right behind us, behind me. Middle of that. He's 47 years old now. He's right above my hat. Up, uh, right there. <laughs> And that's pictures of a lot of our kids in that photo thing. Kids. Lots of ones from from some several people. Thank you. All right. Have you heard of Brad Lancaster? I know, I not only heard of him, I know him. I think Brad's done a session for us, hasn't he, Mark? I think Brad's done a webinar. Um, he's a water expert down in, in Tucson and, and good friend of Bob Christodor, who is here, um, here with us a lot about half the year. And uh, he's great. So we are right at the hour. I'm not going to stop quite yet. I'm letting people in to see if they've got any other thoughts or questions. I heard of John uh, and Ocean Robbins of the Food Revolution and the plant based diet. No, I've not heard of them. I've heard of Anthony Robbins, 
and several other Robins, last name, but not Joan and John, excuse me, and Ocean. So give us some sources about them. By the way, Mark's got a lot of stuff to put in today. Alicia gave us all kinds of stuff, didn't she, Mark? <laughs> she put all the bunch in. Mesquite ecology. We don't have any mesquite around here, so don't, don't get to see that one. All right, I really love you guys. This is so much fun. Um, do, we have, do we have a replay tomorrow, Mark? I don't remember. Great, William Horvath, everybody. And William is one of our amazing best speakers. It'll be a replay and uh, have fun and come and see it. And Mark will be hosting it. And why don't we say goodbye for today? Out. <laughs>